Hey, 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 what is going on, ROK Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today I got a special treat for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look and kind of giving a quick a quick run on all of the active jumper projects that are currently ongoing, at least for all of them that I was able to find. Um, and so essentially what I really want this video to be is just kind of an objective view on what are some of the positives, what are some of the opportunities in these projects to try and help make them the best that they can be, along with giving a little bit of a review on each one for those of you that are you know curious i often get questions on hey you know boss what do you think about this project what do you think about that project um, and more often than not it's usually because these players themselves are you know just looking to jump within a specific time frame um, sometimes if i'm running a project and maybe it starts or someone else is running one it may just start at a specific time they either have to go earlier or later so I often get these questions. I just thought it would be awesome to make this video along with uh, sharing some really cool stuff. I got a spreadsheet I'm going to show you guys here in a bit that kind of documents historical jumper project references. So that'll be something along with everything that I'm going to have a link to in the description down below. So a couple things just to mention before we do officially get started. I'm going to have timestamps in the description along with at the bottom of the video feed. I'm going to have links to all the Discord projects that I talk about in the description as well. I'll be doing this maybe once every two weeks, give or take. Uh, I'm in about 26 project discords right now. Um, some of them will go faster than others, but I'm really, I'm really going to focus to super high level. So we're not really going to do a lot of detailed breakdown. We're really going to be looking a little bit more at, at kind of the shell area. And then we might do more of a detailed video series, maybe on some of the more... Uh, like, you know, projects that maybe have 100 plus members, right? Something like that, just so it, it doesn't come off too uh, long, right? Because, again, to kind of cover this many uh, and, and to keep the video as short as possible, I have to try and think about my time management. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, that, I think, covers the most of it. Uh, I guess the very last part is that if there is a project that I do not cover, please send me a DM and let me know so that way in next week I can and I can add you guys to the spreadsheet. So let me just show off if I can. Oh, those are my notes. <laughs> let me show you guys the uh, spreadsheet real quick. And then we'll go ahead and play it off. So here's my spreadsheet that I got. And you can see here that there's 26 because I started at 2. So at the minus 1. But there's just a couple line items so we got the project name uh, language when was it created what's the jump date you know what's the, what's the uh, approximated jump date along with what's the approximated prep days right how long was the project prepping we have founders or slash projected founders uh, leaders r fives and the important part i like here is that we also have their ids the ID is a unique identifier for those of you who may not know. Um, there's a button called Copy ID on player profiles. I always forget if you have to have developer mode enabled for this. But essentially what the unique identifier is, is that it allows for you to track players no matter what. So even if they change their name 10 times, maybe they've led a bunch of projects and each time they do a new one, they change their name, right? Or maybe there's someone who you know, poaches players and they just change their name every day, right? Or every week uh, or for whatever reason. You type this in onto a Discord that they're in and you can tra and you can pull them up right from the search bar. So that's one of the reasons I like it. Uh, number of alliances and then some other goals and things like that, right? So it's, it, again, right, there, there's quite a few and uh, I'm always trying to update it. One of the things I'm adding is like their ads. So if they have an advertisement, it's one of the things I want to add there. Like what does their current advertisement look like, which basically is just a, a quick link to an ad they've posted on the Rock Discord or somewhere else. Okay. So I think for the most part that covers it, let's go ahead and get started. Again, like I said, I'm going to try and just do a quick overview on, on these projects, at least as, at least as quick as I can. Okay, so first one we're going to start with here is Sands of Time. Uh, Sands of Time, and I'm going to try and quote from my sheet too as well here. Um, English, uh, for the most part, they created 1015, so we're looking about eight days in right now. Um, so the, the big part here I really want to focus on is just kind of shell structure right so you know when you have people coming in and i'll probably repeat this multiple times throughout the video 
you want to try and have your Discord as well prepared as possible, right? Meaning that you have everything that you need. And for anyone that's curious, I will be showing an example of my Discord for my project and just showing you what I really believe are good um, standards to operate in when you are setting up a Discord. So this is the thing, you have, you have a vision, right? A kingdom vision. But the important part here is that you want to mention a lot of parts in that vision, right? Things that are not mentioned here, which I would be wanting to know as a player, is how are you going to do MGE? How are you going to do Zones 1 through 3? How are you going to do Lost Temple? What's your hierarchy? How are you going to distribute sites? How are you going to educate players, um, right? What Do you have leader introductions? Do you have resumes that are posted for any of the leaders or the founder that has worked on past projects? So I can see here that some of the information is here, uh, and I, I do think it's good that some is. I would format this a little bit more, though, just so it comes across a little cleaner. Leadership application. I think these people with this uh, appy, I imagine it's like an application bot. Uh, I'm a fan of Google Forms, really. Um, I just like how it presents itself, uh, but to each their own, right, if it, if it works out well. I do like how they have leadership intros. I think one of the things is that when you're posting an intro, it's good to try and get everyone on the same page. This to me is, is kind of a good indicator, in my opinion, of how you're able to get your leaders on the same page, right? And you're able to have some form of unity and consistency. Uh, an example is one of the things I usually do with leaders is I'll say, hey, this is what I'd like for you guys to include and type up. And let's try and format our posts in similar ways, right? So I'll provide something like a template as an example for how I do mine. And then I'll say, let's try and mimic this so that way it comes across that we're coordinating our posts, even though you guys are still writing it up and making it your own. Um, it's just nice when you have some form of consistency and it shows that everyone's willing to work together, right? Even on something as small as this, which kind of gives you hope, in my opinion, I think more hope, right? For the bigger stuff, uh, right? So, but again, some of the stuff we're, we're missing is some of those things that I mentioned, right? We don't necessarily have those that are included here when it comes to, when it comes to what's available. So I would just say those to me, I think are things to work on. Uh, then we get to the <coughs> Awoken clan, and Awoken started 1015, so about eight days ago. So still pretty young. Um, and again, right, important thing to take away here is that there's it doesn't really come across as though there's a jumper section here, even though it is a jumper Discord. Um, and maybe you could make the argument that it just kind of goes without saying. You have some information, but there's nothing that I talked about, right? Like what's the kingdom plan, all the parts that go into it? That to me is important to include, uh, right? You have community, kingdom voice, right? You do have some guides that are here. And so I'm a big fan of just including all this stuff in one post, and I'll, I'll show you guys that a little bit later. That's just me. Um, I, I see in quite a few discords where they'll kind of have all the guides listed out or all the commanders listed out, and it just sometimes comes, comes across as a lot. Um, again, I, I like that they have some things that are set up, right? Roles are, are pretty consistent. I'm usually not a big fan on these ones only because... The, and it's nothing against, obviously, any Discord that, that we're going to talk about today because you're going to see this pretty often in, in quite a few of them. It's just that unless you're going to use that information for something relevant going forward, for example, you know, if, you know, are, are you going to use asking people how much they're going to spend, you know, by the time you get to KVK? And on top of that, one of the most challenging parts about asking this type of question is there's no way to authenticate or to verify if these people are going to spend. The only way you're ever going to know that is if they actually do spend once you start your jump and you get in-game and you see those chests being purchased. Uh, so just something just something to take note of. Uh, and then let's get to the next one. So we got The Empire. So we'll do a quick Marcus read. And I think I started off here on Leader Profile, right? But oh, So we'll go here, important information. That's pretty much their jumper-related section. So they have a kingdom plan. But as we mentioned before, right, there is some things here. You have six main alliances, a little bit of information on that. Uh, unique jumper, right, uh, where they're going to be able to take a 1v3 KVK. Uh, this is my thing, right, is, is uh, right, go in with lower expectations so you can exceed those expectations, right? Instead of going in hard and, all right, you're overselling, but then you underdeliver. Because that can be such a big demoralization hit to any project, right? It's just go in with realistic expectations and 
undersell so that way when you over deliver it comes across awesome um, but this is my thing right a kingdom plan has to be more than that like we talked about right have to be you know how are you guys going to do mge how are you going to do zones one two and three how are you going to work with other alliances what are you going to do for lost temple how is what's your hierarchy how does your communication structure work how are you going to distribute sites how are you going to conduct diplomacy with other alliances? Which kind of goes into how are you going to work with them? Um, it's just important, right, to, to be able to list those things, right? What are we doing to educate the players on uh, teaching them about uh, jumping, right? Uh, just from a couple of these announcements, I don't see anything here that mentions, hey, you know, go to this channel to help or to learn more, right, about jumping. I think that's really important, um, especially in this example where they have, you know, 350 members, um, I don't know why I think it's great that they're active and they're engaged and they're making consistent posts here for the community. And they obviously have some you know, re uh, relevant information here as well. But announcements is really where the bulk of people will you know, be reading up on consistently outside of those that are kind of up for just going around and taking a look. Okay, then we get to First Imperium. So first Imperium here is we got important. So we have plans that are an introduction, but nothing's there. And this kind of goes back to what I was saying. It's just, <clears throat> you know, have your Discord ready. Always have your Discord fully ready before you decide to start. <clears throat> That's the most important thing. Because you don't want to come across as though you don't, is that you have things that are have been left unattended or unfulfilled. Because when people view that, Right. I think anyone who you know has kind of a competent understanding of, you know, you're either going into something that's ready or you're going into something that's not. And sometimes, regardless if you might feel you are, that may not always be how it comes across to the jumper who's joining and taking a look around. So for me, for me, that would be one of my things. Right. Just make sure you kind of have everything listed out, like we talked about um, already. Right. Again, have those. You know, have your leader introductions, have your resume for leads, um, have a kingdom plan mapped out. What are you going to do for MGE? What are you doing for zone one, two, and three? Lost Temple. What are you doing there? Hierarchy, site distribution. All right, list those things out. It's really important. Okay, uh, let's get to, I think first, let me see real quick so I don't miss this one. First Imperium started 615, and looks like they're jumping on the 29th, so about six days. They have about 136 day projected prep period right now okay uh let's go to what is this black wave cool how are we doing on time we're doing pretty good on time actually wow uh so black wave we have our project uh register channels so this thing i i do like this with the channels this uh, definitely comes across as a lot right now so yeah okay so this is okay i'm not a fan of the t fancy text on to me it just seems hard to well let me say this not, not, I'm, not to, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of the fancy text. I'm not a fan of this specific fancy text. It just comes off hard to read to me. Uh, I personally don't think like this, very readable. This is starting to get a little bit hard to read where I'm going to have to squint a little bit to see stuff. Um, I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong here. I also don't know if we necessarily need the numbers, so to speak. Uh, I think as long as you kind of have a general guide. And it doesn't mean, that, remember, you don't have to include every channel right you can just include the the relevant channels like an example i probably wouldn't include memes uh i don't know if i'd include fan art uh right just just as some some examples right i would like if i'm looking at all of these uh rules announcements uh i like events rock i think that's important uh suggestions general chat commander talents how to play uh, initial and final kingdom map I, right, I think you know again you got maybe 10 that are good there um, sometimes it's important just to kind of you know again know how much you have to include also i think it's good if you can try and stick to writing these where it's just one line and it doesn't go to a second line so that way you're reducing how long or how um uh, gosh i want to say wide because that's left to right but just how large uh, the amount of text looks but again, good that they have, uh, again, I'm always a fan of like a table of contents, uh, right? I think that's great. 
Uh, they have our project, right? This kind of lists out some of the information on it, just obviously in different languages. So they have like how alliances are going to work and then how MG is going to work. This to me is good, right? I think it's good to have that information listed so you have that. However, or I should say in addition, right, it's good to also list out the other things we mentioned, right? How, how are you going to do zone one? How are you going to do zone two, zone three, lost temple, hierarchy, site distribution? What's your general kingdom plan, right? What are kind of your big ticket items, your macro perspective? Um, leader introductions. Uh, where's the leader resumes? Um, how are we going to uh, educate players, right? To me, those are really important things. If we go to announcements, I can see here there's only been a couple so far. Uh, I know this one for Black Wave. Let's see where they're at. So they started 7-9 July, and they're projected to jump end of November. So again, right, they've been here for a while, uh, but... Uh, obviously, with the latest announcement here on the 20th, this was a couple days ago. Uh, maybe it just hasn't been that long. And basically how we figured that out is we look at something like the Welcome Channel, and we look at you know how long people have been coming in. Um, obviously, there's no information or announcement on that they've been doing things earlier. They had a previous project. We wouldn't know that. Uh, but again, just to kind of mention a couple things. On oh, right here, we got another announcement channel. Uh, we can see, yes, you can see this here. It kind of goes back a little bit farther. Different language. That could also... I threw in a bit, but again, right, have those channels that are listed there already, um, so that way you have an idea on, right, and I can see here there's a section called Jump, and, okay, so here we go, we got a map, Initial and Final Kingdom, Announcements, okay, yeah, so see, nothing, nothing here, that's what I'm saying, good to have the amount that you need in there, and sometimes less is more, uh, let's look at Lord's Family Jump, that's the next one, Lord's Family is English, uh, started on the 4th of October, and projected to jump November 2nd. So they're projected to also have about a 29-day prep period. So let's take a look. Uh, we have announcements, business back countdown, support ticket advert. Uh, we have applications, other, Cape Corps, community profile, politics. Okay. So the bulk of the stuff really here is informative. So we have announcements, booster books, countdown, support, ticket, advert, right? So remember, one of the things that we touched on, um, it's good to sometimes have stationary channels, right? That uh, Because they do serve their purpose. So like we mentioned before, right? And I'm always going to sound like a broken record at this point. But again, what's your kingdom plan? MGE, zones 1, 2, 3, uh, Lost Temple, Hierarchy, Site Distribution, Right, how are you educating the players? That's really important too, as well. Right, having a little bit more formatted posts, in, in my opinion, I think it's great that they post consistently. Um, you know, even if it's a couple days in between here and there, right, I think that's really important. Having a countdown, I'm actually a fan of a countdown timer. Um, I love live countdown timer, I'm happy that they actually eventually fixed it. Um, because I think, I think it's good to have a dedicated channel for that. Um, I also think it's good to kind of ping everyone on the channel every once in a while, unless you're including it in an announcement. So, yeah, again, a couple good things here. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. So next one is going to be Project Genesis. So Project Genesis is uh, English predominant. Uh, and I have the 5th of October. It looks like they're estimated to jump on 11 on November 9th, uh, about a 35-day prep period. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have, this is kind of their bulk information place. So we have announcements. Uh, again, some of these are some of these are okay. Uh, again, I, I like how there's at least an attempt to spread and separate. I, I would like if maybe there was a little bit more direction, so to speak, in some of the announcements. But uh, again, I mean, I, I like I like at least that the information is being included. Uh, I like that they're doing meetings. Big fan of meetings. Uh, server rules. Uh, okay, so here we go. Project goals. Right, so what do we have here? Who are we? Experience or goal simple. Uh, Pre-jump structure, experience team, experience, experience, expertise in everything rock. Uh, create three, three main alliances in three different locations. So each alliance will have its own full zone, right? So that's important. So basically each alliance is going to have its full count. What you guys, why you guys should join us, transparency, take a big part. Yeah. Uh, let's see the server. So the, again, right, server directory, right? So again, Kind of having a table of contents. Uh, this is the thing, though, right? Remember, it's good to try and limit how much you're typing here because you 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 don't want to always have to have uh, a viewer constantly scrolling 
as often, especially if you can summarize and kind of give people the TLDR on what to expect in that channel. Uh, but I am a fan of you know, listing what you feel to be the most important channels and then a brief description on it. Okay. I get like that they have a leader's intro channel. I like that we have an officer intro channel. I like how we're explaining, kind of going over some things. I think, as I said, right, including a resume, I think is really important. Um, right, that kind of goes back to what we were saying before. How are we going to manage MGE? What are you going to do for zones, you know, two and three? They did say zone one, where basically any of the zones, one of the three alliances land in, they're just going to, you know, take everything. Uh, or control, whatever that may mean. That doesn't necessarily give us too much specifics, so it'd be nice if a little bit more was detailed out on Zone 1. What are you going to do for Lost Temple? What are you doing for Hierarchy? Uh, what's your side distribution going to be looking like? Um, right? How are we educating players via announcements? Right, These things are really important. Um, again, right? I think I think this is okay for, for what they have. I, I'd like to see just a little bit more that can be detailed out because it, it's good to try and hammer out your big ticket items so that we don't get to a point where you know you're discussing for just days on end or you you, know, you have a higher chance of getting into disagreements because now people are kind of finally voting with the way they want and you might not have everyone voting the same way you know, so those are important things right to make sure people are kind of joining for the right reasons uh then we get to project elden royalty uh, so elden royalty is just uh, created on the 13th of september does not have an, e, uh, an ETA yet on where they're going to be going. Uh, you can see here about 169 members. Um, and then really we just have the important section here. So you got server rules. We got kingdom rules. Nothing filled out. Kingdom goals. So you have some some stuff here actually. I think this, act, this potentially could be the most organized uh, kingdom goal that we've seen so far from the projects. So they have some structure here, right? Where we'll be aiming for a mid or high A seed. Be organized leadership and council. They want to have eight alliances in the family. Uh, there'll be four alliances, two main fighting alliances, two main support, uh, right? Council will be run by leadership with the council system at the forefront. Uh, the king's development, making decisions for the kingdom's events and KVKs. Uh, shrines, nine shrines will be distributed as follows. This is for zone two, so it'd be nice if they, if they specifically said zone two, just to not assume that everyone knows what that means. Uh, KVK, heading into KVK, four main alliances will respectively become two main. MGE, I right, talked about doing fix. Again, this is good, right? I like how they have more information listed. But again, what are you going to do zone one? What are you going to do zone three? I think that's important. Uh, what does your hierarchy look like, right? Just kind of detailed as an example. What are you going to do for Lost Temple? How are you going to distribute structures, right? What's the approach there for zone one, right? These things are important to list out, uh, right? But I do like that they had more. They've had the most listed thus far. Then we get to leadership, right? So this is important is listing out right, who those people potentially are, regardless if you do that earlier or later. You know, I don't necessarily have a preference on that, uh, but at least at some point listing that information out. And then, of course, do they have resumes, right? Where's their introductions, Oh, here we go. Cool. So they actually have one, right? They got the issue. So it's good. Again, right? Like, like how they have the information included. Okay. Uh, all right. So a couple good things there. Let's get to Fallen Angels. I don't have anything on Fallen Angels, I think. I'm still waiting to get in. This is Russian. Okay. Let's go to Royal Nation. <coughs> okay. So Royal Nation is uh, predominantly English. I think I have them at. I uh, started July 17th, projected to go the 27th, uh, and in doing so, projected to have a 102-day prep period for their project. Uh, where we're taking a look here, greetings, roles, right? So nothing super specific. General, spam, other rock tips. I have that down. Yeah, so again, not not really a lot here. Uh, again, I know, like we said, right, in include your kingdom plan, especially if you're going to be jumping soon, right? Where's the leader introductions? Where's the resumes? <coughs> Excuse me. It's water here. Um, right, what do you do for MGE? Zones 1 through 3, Lost Temple hierarchy, uh, side distribution, right, the typical stuff. Right, just making sure that we have good information. Announcement channel, 
would be good to have as well here. Um, again, right, it's, it's great to see good numbers in any project, but you know the level of preparation that we put out, you know, should be indicative of you know how serious and, and how important uh, the project is that we're doing. Okay, let's get to project origins. Let's do a quick mark read here. So project origins is October 1st, uh, estimated to jump the end of November. So looking at about a projected prep period of 60 days. So uh, again, right, 153 members, so decent size. Let's get to rules. So they have some rule, okay, alliance selection. You can choose the alliance R4. We got some announcements here. Uh, let's see. There we go, gotta blow the nose, jeez. Honor. Yeah, so you know, I think in, I think in this case, I'd like to see a little bit more, you know, just detailed, longer posts. Just again to kind of take the time to explain a little bit more about the project. Uh, then we get to leadership info. Again, as I said, I like this. This is this is great. Um, maybe we don't need to have as as much separation as far as breaks in between the lines just so we don't have to scroll up too much but i do like this i'm a fan of detailing this information out especially if you know whenever at any point that you're able to uh, but what are we missing we're missing the kingdom plan uh you know what's the you know what are the goals uh, that's important uh, where's that information where we're listing out what is included in that the mge the zones one through three lost temple hierarchy site distribution where's the leadership resumes the introductions, right? How are we educating the players? Where are we directing them to go on the Discord so they can learn that information? That's typically going to be done in an announcement. Just a few things. Uh, so let's go on Vikings, and we're actually getting pretty close here. So we we'll do Vikings. Uh, I don't know how much there is here. I like how they actually have it in both for this. Uh, so let's see what we got. News. This, I'm assuming, is where we're posting information. So similar thing here, right? This is all the jump info. So they have a vote on decisions. Interesting how you can, you know, they're like basically doing a popular vote. I don't know if you should do a popular vote like that where you're letting everyone join. I think, again, if you're leading, you really should have a clear direction on where you're going. And you should be confident in that. doesn't mean that it, it, it has to exactly be that in the sense of, um, you know, if, if your project is doing something where you're open to, you know, uh, other things being suggested or provided. But I do think it's important, uh, depending on how your hierarchy is set up, that you at least have a general direction that can be kind of universally agreed upon, whether it's being handled by multiple people, one person or anything in between. Uh, you got jump time. I am a fan of. I'm a fan, as I've said, man. I like countdowns. I don't see necessarily a countdown here, but I do see that they have the date and the time listed. We have jump plan English. Okay. <clears throat> so this is my thing. This still, to me, comes off as a wall of text. Like I almost don't already want to read it. And what I mean by that, right? And again, it's nothing, you know, against anyone who who makes the post, but it's just important to know formatting, right? So. You might do like, for example, you might write one and then do your underline bold. And then the first topic would be something such as uh, starter kingdom, right? And the next one's final kingdom. Then the next one's zone one. Uh, then the next one is find your alliance. Uh, what are you doing day one, right? Those types of things. And then you're going into details there. We got jump crew. Again, I like this, right? This is good to me. I like that they have this information listed here. Where and this is this is to me how I would probably do it. I might have, eh, give or take. I might have put a space here, uh, but otherwise, I still think this is good. Um, it doesn't come across as it's too much. We, what you really could do for officers, you could just list them out one by one. You could actually really shorten this if you didn't want to do it top down. I don't necessarily see a problem with that, um, right? Unless you're having maybe like twenty alliances, for example, but. This it still looks still looks and comes off clean. Uh, verify jump, right? I do like how you can list off right. You're you're kind of here for jumping. I don't know if that gives me any more access. It doesn't, but I do like if this is kind of a ready check. I'm a big fan of ready checks, and this could be the first one we've seen so far. Uh, we got YouTube ad, right? This kind of covers everything. The important part here is that we don't really know 
right? So if we read a couple, uh, looks like they're going to start a kingdom without fog. Carriers, raise all your city levels. Yeah, so nothing really that kind of talks about what's the kingdom plan, right? So that to me, or at least something that I can easily find, <clears throat> right? And that kind of goes back to you know, what I was saying. How are you going to do MGE? What are you going to do for zones 1, 2, and 3? Lost Temple, Hierarchy, Side Distribution. Where's the leadership introductions? Where's the leadership resumes, right? Again, pending if they have done any projects before. How are you educating players? I think this is an okay example of that. I just think you have to be a little more organized and have it, have it come off a little cleaner so it just doesn't read as a wall of text. That's my big thing. Okay, let's look at Jump Union. Jump Union, I think, is a little bit smaller here. So they're uh, they're Turkish. They started the 23rd, I think, today. So there's just not a lot here, right? But it kind of goes back to what I was saying. Build out the Discord first and then go ahead and start recruiting. That's the big one. Uh, let's do the wing jumpers. So the wing jumpers I have at... Uh, so they, they did one project from the 1st to the 27th, about a 26-day turnaround. Now they have another one that's ongoing. It's a new project, uh, not related to the previous one. And they're, they started the thing on the 12th of October, so they've been going almost two weeks, um, a little less. And this is pretty much their, their main section here, right, where you have announcements. Uh, we have jumper info, uh, and it looks like recruitment that they have on here. So they have some... I, I like this, right? Provide some content, um, right? I will respectfully say that I have the best and most comprehensive jumper walkthrough video out on the market. Um, I can say that confidently because I've looked at what everyone else has um, and it, it, there's just no way you can cover everything that there is to cover within about 20 to 30 minutes unless you're talking really fast and just getting cr on top of that getting crazy with your post-production to just really attempt to min-max. There's just, a, there's just so much to cover. Uh, with that in mind, though, I, like I said, I do like that they're at least including, right, resource. I just think you, I just think you have to scroll up too much, right? That's the thing. You, you want to try and keep everything on attemptively if you're on, I'm on a desktop right now, but you want to try and keep everything almost as close as you can to kind of a one-page viewing, right, or even a single post viewing uh, when possible. So, yeah, giveaways, polls, socials, we got roles. Uh, we got some rock news, rules, community discord, word recruit. Uh, I like mistakes to avoid, always a fan. Let's uh, expand, right, so you can kind of see this. But, the again, the, the, the other big stuff here that we've talked about is what's the kingdom plan, right? What are you going to do when you get into the kingdom? This is important because you don't want any, dra you know, any drama to unfold or to arise because you don't have these things already laid out. So, again, uh, right, if there are, right, have these channels set up. And even, uh, trust me when I say, there, sometimes you can have channels that are set up in advance, but... You just don't have anything in them because it's just not time yet, right? Maybe you haven't got closer to your, to your jump. So, um, and sometimes you can just keep those channels hidden. You don't have to publicize them. Uh, okay, let's get to Rise of Phoenix. So Rise of Phoenix is Russian nine. I think they're attempting to jump on the eleventh of November. So, or sorry, the first of November. There's quite. There's not really too much stuff here. News. Yeah. There's nothing really here. Okay, next. Let's do the new world. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm looking. New world, who to contact. I don't really see anything here. Commanders. Unicide. Yeah. Again, there's nothing really here on the project yet. Let's see what they have. What is this, the new world? Well, they don't. So, yeah, it looks like they started today. 23rd, yeah, so nothing really there yet, but it still goes back into what I was saying, right? Make sure you build out the project before you build out your Discord before you start, right? Have things that are ready and good to go. What's your plan, uh, right? If you're doing any other types of social, socialization channels, uh, bots, but the bulk, the main part here is have kind of a well-rounded jumper section first. Okay. Let's get into Hesperides, which this is Spanish. Also want to give a shout out because they have my most recent jumper video here. And there's a couple projects that do. And I want to say mine is the most recent one that is the most detailed, right? The most comprehensive. So shout out to the team. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So, uh, but uh, right, if we're taking a look here, we got right some information. This to me is okay, right? So I like how this is what I'm talking about. They they have kind of topical sections, and and then it focuses on what's included there. I would probably bold underline this, maybe add a one there, bold underline this, add a two, right? Just so it's clearer when people are reading it. And because when you're not formatting anything, as you know, just remember it can come off as a wall of text. Um, so we have announcements for decisions. All right, so these are things that you can see. Again, obviously it hasn't been open that long. I like how they have a future plans, but nothing's there. Uh, so again, something, something to consider. I do like how they have a confirmation channel. That's something we've touched on before. Uh, but then we kind of get into the main stuff again, which is, you know, what's the kingdom plan? How are you going to manage your MGEs? What are you doing zone one, two, and three? Lost Temple, hierarchy, side distribution. Where's the leader introductions, leader resumes? Right. And again, I'm not, at minimum, you should at least have one, right? Which is the project founder, uh, right? Even if it's just bare bones. So just some, just some to consider, right? But a couple things we liked here. Uh, let's look at, we're actually almost done. I think we only have seven or eight left to go. What's our time here so far? 36 minutes. We're actually doing okay, I think. Uh, so then we have Dark Brotherhood, uh, right? So announcements. This is my thing, right? We've talked about this before is, uh, right? Try not to ping your, your Discord too much, right? Especially for everyone. Try and space them out, especially, especially when you're not close to jumping, Right, maybe once you get to where you're a couple days out, maybe that's different. Maybe you're, maybe you have some type of plan when you're gonna post, even if it's once a day. Uh, I think on top of that, try to include more fuller posts, right, where it doesn't necessarily come off, like unless it's something super specific, or it's a short turnaround time and it's more of a follow up, that could be different. But other than that, you know, try and include in my recommendation, and we'll show that later. But full posts, I think, are are really important, and then just formatting those full posts. So then we get to, and I think that's everything that we have, yeah. So then the next thing is, like we talked about, right, what's the kingdom plan? We have some intros here, but I think these are general ones. I can type in here as well. So again, right, have your leader introductions, leader resume, what's the kingdom plan, what's your MGE, zones one, two, three, lost temple hierarchy, site distribution. How are you going to do these things? These are important to know. Uh, right, so a few, a few things here, a few things here. Okay. Uh, then let's go to the Admiral Hunter. Let's see what they have. The Admiral Hunter. Uh, Turkish. Started a day ago. So not a lot. Too much. Um, and I really can't read too much in here either. So let's go to uh, the Soul Spartans. Uh, so the Soul Spartans are started 23. Oh, so they actually just started today as well on their English. So not... Okay, not bad. Announcements. And, oh, yeah, this is from today too as well. Uh, right, this to me is okay, right? There, there's some formatting here that you see with some of the line breaks. I'd like for this to maybe be, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if I can ask for too much. I, th I think this is good. This is okay. Uh, if anything, I'd like just for maybe to be there a little bit more as far as, you know, what's, what's the focus. Um, you know, here's some channels that we have. All right, they have recruitment tax, uh, applications, kingdom announcement. Uh, kingdom structure, main alliances, right? There's just nothing here, right? Be sure to fill these areas in and then include what's your kingdom plan? What are you going to do for MGE zones one through three? Lost Temple hierarchy, side distribution. Where's your leader introduction, leader resume, right? These are good staples. Okay, then we get to Wolves Empire. Uh, Wolves Empire. Turkish started on the 17th of October, projected to go on the 6th of November, projected turnaround for prep is 20 days. Uh, I haven't got in here yet, so... Okay, let's go Great Tomb of Nazarick. I don't see anything here, and I'm already there. Yeah, again, build it out a little bit more. I'm sure some of the pieces here are good. I like that we have a UTC time up top. Always a fan of those. But just build the channels out more. Uh, let's look at the Legend of the Four Empires. So we have announcements, advertising staff application, chat, Rock Eyes, uh, Black Hat Lounge... Yeah, so again, same, you know, similar thing here. <coughs> Let me see here. What do I have? The Legend of the Four Emperors. Where's this one? 927 uh, for September is when they started. So almost a month. It's been no ETM projected, predominantly English. But we just don't have anything about, you know, where's the kingdom plan? <coughs> Excuse me. Right, what are they going to be doing? 
how are we managing? I think I have to cough for just a brief moment. Let's see here. Okay, I think I'm good. I got the throat tickle. But like I was saying, right, be sure to include that information. <coughs> oh, God, I'm dying. I need more agua. Ah, there we go. Right, be sure to include that information here so you have a good idea on what you are preparing the people that are joining for. Include those channels and be prepared before you start recruiting. Trust me, you will come across that much more professional. Okay, let's go to where am I at? Oh wow, I only got we only got two or three left. So uh, let's go. Where's this Game of Thrones? Oh, I don't know if I got in yet. I haven't. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll go to Team Lionheart. Is the next one here? And let me see. Team. I think it's the Team Lionheart. Is it? No, it's just Team. So I should notice this T E. I do. Uh, international, they started on the 19th of October, so it's only been a couple days so far. But you can see here, Jump Date. Oh, wow, they actually do have it set. Uh, they must have just added this. Um, but again, right, so some information, statement for our four. Let me see if we have some news. Oh, the fancy text is killing my face. Uh, but, but again, nothing really that we have as far as, you know, what's the, what are the, like we talked about, right, what are the goals of the kingdom? Uh, how? Uh, what are they going to be doing there? Uh, right? What? How, what are you going to do for your MGEs, your Zone One through Threes, Lost Temple hierarchy, side distribution? Right? The uh, leader introduction, leader resume. These are things that, at a bare minimum, we do want to try to include before we ever start. Um, okay. And then we got the last one here, and then I will show you an example of what I do for my project. And this is not necessarily meant to be like a, hey, recruitment type thing. This is just as a reference type thing. So uh, for those, right, so now we're in Drengers. Let me see what we got here for Drengers. So Dren, this is English, and they started, I think, today. So, uh, right, they have a jump plan. Uh, they have a kingdom plan. Uh, let me see what do we have. Keep refreshing me. So again, format having three alliances. Okay, uh, LT working on a schedule. So it looks like they're going to rotate LT, uh, changing over time zone. Yeah. So uh, I, I, again, my thing here is you have a few points. Format it, break it up so it's a little bit cleaner to read. Uh, let me see. We have alliance halls, new player guides. I always wonder. Oh yes, yeah, so I see nothing there. Uh, there we go. I like this. Meet your leaders. Right. This is cool for me. Bring out the introduction. I think that's good. However, provide some information on yourself. If your channel is titled Meet Your Leaders, right, I would like to see at least a little bit of a description. Instead, just say, you know, alliance lists or something to that effect or alliance rosters, right? And then this post becomes a little bit more relevant. Uh, right, so not a lot there in the kingdom plants. There's a few things, which is nice. But again, we're making sure that we're including as much as we can in order to present ourselves where we are more at the ready uh, so again one thing okay so i think that's the last server wow where am i at right now 43 minutes for those of you that are still sticking around at this point wow okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys my discord and just to give you an example of some references on what i think is really important to include uh, when you are looking to build a project so let's go to rock jumper project right so the first thing that i have is and you'll notice i don't use a lot of the fancy text uh, i think in general i'm a little bit more of a minimalist where i just think you know it, it, keep it simple again that's just me and how i like to do it i'm not knocking anyone for that um, i just think it's important that you don't want it to come across as there's just so much on the screen so we have start here pretty standard this is how i did everything look at how clean everything looks brief description on on things um, it doesn't come across as it's just a jumble even if i wanted to i mean i could split this if i wanted to you know for example let's say i wanted to do something like this right now it looks better arguably right and it it doesn't come off as they have to read a bunch there's there's purpose to it as well right you can see sign off announcement chat 
questions, positions, plan. Like there's there there's a a method right to the madness, if you will. Um, and then we get to right. We have a sign off channel. Uh, my sign off channel essentially at the very bottom, right? You see, I have everything numbered here. We kind of have like an acknowledgement, a region check, which kind of serves as a dual purpose. And then here we just kind of have another another summary of what the plan is, of uh, what are some of the big ticket items. Uh, then we get to the announcement channel. Right, I'm pretty big on my announcements, so you'll see as an example. Right, here's my bulk announcement that is organized, it's formatted. There's not too much necessarily to read, and you can even see from previous ones. Right, very consistent with with how I post and for updates. The only time you'll see something that is a, a smaller one would be this is a follow up. Like in our in our example, we just need one more leader. Right, so you know. It, Usually I'll, I'll do a few of those and then I'll come back with kind of a nice well formatted and organized one It's just there's not a lot that we can really do in, in this example Then you have uh, jump chat you got questions uh, Which again, you know, you could make the argument just using one chat until you think activity is, is Really good and then you can open up a questions later. I have jump positions so for example, you can see here, I have things organized that are for war department recruiting. I have an application, a Google form that I've made for each one. I even have a video guide that I have made myself that includes how to be this, what to do in this specific position, whether it's for a warlord or recruiter, if you're doing intelligence, a diplomat, guide on being a leader, guide on being an officer. I have points that I think are really important that give you kind of a snapshot of what each of the positions are. So you can see that things are broken up. Uh, we have a jump plan. The jump plan I actually have broken up into sections. So you can see here, method to the madness. There's preparation, the first kingdom, and then you have sub points for each of these. Um, and then eventually you get to the final kingdom. I even have uh, my, wa uh, my walkthrough written guide. That's a little bit more formatted in case anyone wants to watch that one. Uh, right, just as an example, and then I have, uh, right, if you want video walkthroughs, right, waiting period, what to do right now while you're waiting. Uh, then we get to jump goals. Goals here are an example where we talk about foundation, we talk about goals and policy. This is what I really think people should be trying to build out, and I'm not saying I have all the answers, but this is what I really believe is a kind of a good foundational piece where you have your, your conduct. Uh, how what you, you know how you expect your, your group to approach others zone one zone two zone three how we're going to do mge what are we going to do for kvk alliances and merging what's our mission what's our vision uh, pvp in the kingdom uh, balancing information hierarchy oversight so again right just to just to name some then we get to jump resources <clears throat> i'm actually really proud of this channel too as well uh, just on a personal note so i think when you can have things like top down like look i don't need tens 20 30s of channels right um, i can simply put you know and i've i've looked into these myself where i'll go and just make sure they're still working they're still up to date sometimes i'll just have a website that has a bunch of resources on it that i think just does a really good uh, compilation job and then others all include some youtube videos right commander pairings equipment builds museum artifacts if they just want to figure out and find every single event that exists in rock bam they can do it here i don't need to have you know 20 or 30 channels set up for those things jumper resources i have general resources i have resources on managing an alliance so people can maybe watch and get an idea on expectations i have a jump resume right uh, where we have, you know, this is how I do mine, right? So this is kind of my kingdom builder resume. I also talk about previous uh, projects that I've done. I have YouTube video references because I, I like to document my uh, projects that I've done, at least as many as I can, um, right? And I obviously, oh, oh, I dropped it. Okay, good. We say it. And so, you know, for me, I have, you know, two, uh, what is it, right? Two games I've done, now doing a third but just giving some examples. I have an FAQ channel, right? Uh, I obviously can probably should add some more stuff here, but this gives you an example of a couple things. I have a Final Kingdom timeline, meaning right a timeline for how things are going to go once we get into the Final Kingdom, expectations that people can have, players can have ahead of time. Uh, help recruit. I do like one thing I've seen from a few people, um, which is that they have a channel that lists all the discords to join. Uh, I'm actually a fan of that. So I just haven't, just haven't found a minute to put it on there. Uh, we got a rock bot. Uh, one of the things we do, we, have, we, we do meetings, right? 
So, uh, right, uh, once we get to a point where the product is actually ready, we have a dedicated channel where we'll post meeting announcements, we'll post VODs there, um, and then obviously we have a, a voice chat. So just kind of give you an example, I have a, I have a management category that's separate, but just to kind of give you an, an example here, of how I have you know my channels set up in my project. As I said, this is not me promoting uh, my project. Uh, again, I, I'm effortlessly able to go and recruit people on my own. But what I hope other projects can take away, uh, whether it's from some of the things that I have on mine or even more than some of the things, is how does the structure look? That's important, right? Is how you, you have to have that information there. Right, my jump resume channel operates as an introduction slash resume. So, you know, whether you have separate channels or you have something combined, I have everything listed out from MGE, from zones, hierarchy, distribution, uh, right, uh, leader information, uh, even in my announcements, right, we'll refer to jump resources and it'll tell people, hey, go here if you want to learn while you're waiting. Those are important things that I think when people are joining a project, they want to try and have that type of TLC, that tender love and care that you are giving to the players that are joining, right? Really taking a proactive approach in trying to, to give the best impression and the best effort and commitment that you can as a founder, as a leader, um, especially for those that have permissions to message everyone. And then lastly, here because now I again you know I'm at 51 minutes and these videos are probably going to be a little bit longer because obviously we're covering and we're talking about a lot of projects. Um, like I said, I thought there were some good positive things that we saw from multiple projects, um, and then I think you know each project kind of had their own opportunities, right? Things that I think they could do to better themselves so they can be the best version of their project for the people that are there in their projects. With that being said. I also want to give a big shout out to the Jumper Community Discord uh, and Raya and, and a few others that, that I've known there for a little while. I think they're doing great things here. Um, and again, I'll have links, as I mentioned, to each of the projects that I've talked about, along with links to the Jumper Community uh, Discord uh, and then a little bit of information for us as well. So yeah, that's it. I'd love to know what your thoughts are, right, on this review series. Um, I hope we did a good job, right? Remember, my, my hope, my, my plan was for this to be you know, as objective as possible when, you know, we're coming in and we're looking at projects because I think that there's just a lot of projects out there and a lot of first-time leaders or uh, players who, you know, have only ever managed one alliance before or maybe they've only done two or three and now they're looking to do four, five, or six. Those are things, right? And I think that there can always be takeaways. We should always be looking to soak up that knowledge to gain experience especially when those are especially when those uh, individuals are offering it and you can watch it read it listen to it and then you can decide for yourself right find those takeaways things that you like right you can have someone like me or another that can you know tell you what they think is good advice in a lot of areas but maybe you just pick and choose what you like. Maybe it's one thing I said. Maybe it's multiple things I said. Maybe it's something you saw from another project that we want to go and take a look at. So I love being able to kind of show off these trends and kind of what the current, you know, pioneering or the kind of meta space is right now uh, in the Jumper project scene. So uh, again, that is it for me. Let me know your comments down below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to continue this series as well because I think it's a great way to show off, you know, as many projects, if not up to all current active projects from the day and the time that I end up doing these recordings. That is it for me. As always, until next time, I'll catch you later.